real good coffee. So this is how we add audio keyframes to our audio tracks in our Avid timeline. I usually use a keyboard shortcut, which is the apostrophe key right next to the return key. But just so we can see what the icon looks like, I'm going to map it to my timeline toolbar so we can take a look at it. It's located in the command palette and it's in the effects tab. There it is looks like a pink triangle and I'm going to map it right here. Now I am making sure that my tracks are active. Placing my playhead where I would like to add that keyframe. But when I press on the add keyframe icon, you'll notice that nothing happens. This is because the option to add keyframes is turned off by default. So to turn that on, I'm going to the Timeline Fast menu, Audio Data, Volume. Volume has to be enabled in order to add keyframes. So once that's turned on, my waveforms become ghosted and I know now that I can add keyframes to my tracks. I can go ahead and press on the Add Keyframe icon and there we go, those are my two keyframes right here on my track. Now to adjust, I need to click directly on the keyframe, not on the line. In Avid, you have to click directly on the keyframe in order to be able to adjust it. Now, if I would like to adjust both at the same time, I'm simply going to hold down the Option key and drag a box around both keyframes. Now I can adjust them together without having to do them separately. Now to deselect, holding down the Option key again and just dragging anywhere within the track will turn off those keyframes. So typically I like to usually sort of just map out my keyframes first. So if I needed the audio, for example, to dip down, I'm going to option drag around the two center pairs of keyframes. Again, select right on the keyframe and drag those down. Option click and drag anywhere in the track will allow me to deselect. To adjust the distance between the two keyframes, once the keyframes are selected, I can hold down the Option key and move the keyframes left or right in order to, to adjust the distance between the keyframes. So to recap, in order to add audio keyframes in Avid, we need to first of all make sure in our Timeline Fast menu under the Audio Data that Volume is turned on. That needs to be enabled. Once that's enabled, we can put our playhead wherever we'd like to add that keyframe, making sure that the tracks are active. Then we can either press on the Add Keyframe icon or use the keyboard shortcut, which is the apostrophe key. The only modifier key that we have to remember for the audio is the Option key. That will allow me to both select by holding down the Option key and dragging around the keyframes, or I can hold down the Option key and drag those keyframes left or right in order to adjust the length. I can also hold down the Option key and drag anywhere within the track to deselect. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for listening.